Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our VW Amarok. Then I'll take you for a short drive in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. it has done 101,719 miles. Fuel economy, urban 29.1, extra urban 40.4, combined is 35.8. Nought 60 time of 11.1 .1 seconds. Top speed of 112 miles per hour out of a 161 brake horsepower 16 valve engine. Real handy vehicle, plenty of ground clearance for I suppose building sites, anything like that, farms and so on. It's uh, finished in grey metallic. Oops. We have the multi-spoke alloy wheels with good tyres all round, the plastic wheel arch protectors, rear privacy glass and it's got the kind of uh, truckman top on. I'll try and see which one it is actually, uh, just so as I can tell you. Now, we had a slight mishap with it this morning. All right, I had a slight mishap with it this morning. There's two cables in the back here. When I opened it, one of them pinged and we couldn't get in it. But we'll put new cables on, so, so that'll be okay. So basically, anyway, that, that's one of the cables. The other thing is, these um, hydraulic struts here, they're uh, past the sell-by date. So again, we'll replace those two. You've got the back here that folds down. I'll just let that down a second. It's got the hard plastic lining inside. Certainly not beaten up. Not, I don't think it's been used for carrying anything heavy or sharp. So it's, it's really nice here. So we'll just put it back up. In the uh, keep that outside for when we get the cables. Plenty of room in the back, loads of headroom. It's uh, got a heated rear screen here, although again, all this is privacy glass and. Uh, then there's the, the top there, which I still forgot to have a look if there was a sign on. Um, I, I won't say it's a truckman top because uh, you've got to be very specific about what sort of things they are. Um, but uh, we, I'll see if I can find out. Otherwise, it's just got the fiberglass top on of uh, some manufacturer uh, to, to yet to be determined. So in the back here, the back seats fold down. You've got these... Uh, you've got the three inertia reel seat belts, enough room in the back for, for three big people, I would say. Nice big fat uh, armrest there. There's a couple of marks in it. Um, I wouldn't describe it as being absolutely mint, but certainly if it's a workhorse you're after, then absolutely ideal for, for that. Uh, we'll do the job uh, and then some. I'll just take you for a ride in it. It's a proper key with a blade, a remote central locking. We do only have one for it. Um, before we get started, I know there's a question you're all asking yourself. <laughs> Who cut your hair? And do you, do you want us to get him for, for you? Um, well, if you've heard the old joke, uh, I'm not saying let's go out and kill all the stupid people. Let's just take the warning labels off things and, and let nature take its course. My uh, shaver now has um, a sign on it that says, Baz, number two, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll take you for a ride in it before we go. Height and reach adjustable, multifunction steering wheel here. Um, it's a six-speed manual gearbox, big high off the ground thing, very very handy vehicle, put all your tools in the back, the back will come off if you want it to and you can just have it as a pickup. We've got uh, electric door mirrors, remote central locking, it does have sat nav there if you just click the nav, you can uh, enter the address from there or if you click map. Uh, shows you where you're going 
aircon. We've got plenty of power sockets. There's two here, and then there's another one up at the top here in this tray. Cup holders, front central armrest with storage space there. Just put these, let these vents open up. And also space for a big flask stroke bottle in the door pockets. Nice comfortable seats. Again, the seats are height adjustable too. It, it drives uh, drives pretty nice, I have to say. You've got your four-wheel drive controls there. Not a bad turn of acceleration, really, for a, a big beast, a big pickup. Not going to exactly be geared for acceleration. Probably more for pulling and uh, slower <laughs> getaways. Nice, nice gearbox. Nice and easy. Nice light clutch. Four-wheel drive switches are there. Four-wheel drive and high and low. I'm not sure what that switch is there. Well, actually, that's how you move it. I didn't want to press it when we were moving. So that looks like how you move it forward and backwards between the four-wheel drive settings. Nice big door pockets. Got hands-free Bluetooth and also audio streaming. And uh, in order to stream music from your phone, once you've paired it by Bluetooth, you just need to press the media. And there. Michael Bublé. Let's put it back on nav. We've also got radio CD. That's the setup switch. So we've got the heavy-duty plastic lining in the um, load area. The top, which is, I'm not sure, but it's the same colour as the vehicle, so I'm not sure whether that's been on from brand new, but you can take it off. It will unbolt. Big alloy wheels, all the tyres are good. wheel arch protectors, cloth seats, nice and comfortable. <coughs> Back seats there, again, they, they will fold down. I'm not sure what purpose the back seat's folding down, apart from, I suppose you can get extra stuff in there, but it's not really a load through facility. There, that's, let's just go back to nav, nav. There you go, you can have it map or go into the actual thing itself to set the address. Not too many amber lights on the, on that motorway for my liking. Too much flashing. I think we'll have to divert here. Oh, well, that's just gone back to 60. Not taking any chances. We'll go up to the next junction. Not really a motorway car. But 
but um, will perform adequately. So nice, nice enough gear change. Car tells you when to change gear, optimum time when to change gear. On the dash, you've got rev counter on the left there. Let's let's just get up to 70. We'll go up to the next junction. So we're doing 70 there in sixth gear. 2,000 revs. Reasonably quiet, nice and comfortable, not too bumpy. A lot of the times with pickups you get uh, quite a bit of bounce at the back, but this is fine. Feels very weighty at the front. It's got a massive engine in there. Your electric window switches here. There's your electric door mirrors. I've tested both of those, they both work. <laughs> That's kind of some cup holder stroke, oddments bin, ashtray, call it what you will. I'll show you how to set the sat nav and stream audio. Um, use the Bluetooth hands-free and also delete a mobile from the system in this vehicle. It's, it's a 2012 on a 62 plate, I think. I think we might have wheel wobble. So, uh, nothing too drastic. We've got the wallet with all the books. Very, very handy vehicle. Let's check the wipers actually. Well, I, I have to say that um, that's, the, that's the worst wiper I've ever seen in my life. I'm assuming it's actually frozen in a curve because it's not touching the screen. And if that's not the case, then I'm afraid the previous owner should be whipped through the streets. <laughs> Remind us to make sure that that wiper's fixed. These test drives, I mean, that's what is to find out really um, a lot of a lot of stuff you can't find on the ramp I mean they'd, they'd find that straight away but it's other little things we're looking for like wheel wobbles knocks and uh, suspension creaks stuff like that everything else seems okay Nice and quiet in the cabin. Well, 
will make a great workhorse. It's uh, reasonably tidy in the um, the inside. Not perfect, but um, certainly good enough for uh, if you're going to use it for work and also priced accordingly. Just uh, pull over in a short while. Uh, this is the last vehicle I'm going to be able to do before the new year, before 2020, I think. And uh, so I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all a, a happy new year, a prosperous 2020. Keep watching, and come and buy us a car off us if you, uh, if you so desire, if we've got anything website is ggcars.co.uk web store is bccars.co.uk but you can get to either via each website um, we've got lots of stuff on the web store for petrol heads and uh, we also like dogs at Grosvenor Garage as well <laughs> so we've got a dog, a dog section And uh, there's, pl there's so much stuff there, so many gadgets, you just won't believe. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please stay loyal to us in the new year, and uh, I'll see you then. Have a good new year. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.